Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro, also known as Mi 90 Pro, codename Raphael and Raphael N. Now it's been a lot of times that I've been using Ancient OS on this particular device, but recently we received a new update called 6.2 Shield, and that's what we are going to install today and have a quick look at it. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, join us on Telegram. We have more than 1800 members there. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So let's see what we have here. We have Ancient AOSP Raphael Stable Hotfix, Ancient OS 6.2 Shield Android version 12, updated on the 28th of January 2021. Now you do have a support group, you have a source change log, we're not going to get into that. Device change log says update some blobs to this particular version, various improvements. Notes, hotfix for hotspot not working, can be dirty flashed over yesterday's build, the ROM is based on OSS vendor and Soviet kernel. Now interesting thing for me, Soviet kernel which performs really really great, so expect some good numbers when we do a full review. Now at this point we are on MIUI of course, so you need to make sure you've removed your face unlock, fingerprint unlock, pattern, pin, all the security related things. Remove your Gmail, remove all the Google accounts, remove your MI account and reboot your device once. Now once you've taken care of that, you need to ensure that your device does have an unlock bootloader and a TWRP recovery installed. At the same time, make sure you have more than 50% battery and make sure you have backed up all the information in your device because everything is going to be wiped. Now, once that is done, you should be able to get into TWRP and flash it. And that's what I'm going to show you. So in order to boot to TWRP, you need to press and hold volume up and power and keep it pressed till the time you see the MI logo. All right. Now, as you can see, we've booted into TWRP. So go to wipe, advanced, Dalvik cache system vendor data, wipe everything. Okay. Now go to the main screen, go to install. Select storage, select USB OTG. And over here, first select the firmware. We're going to use the latest 12.5.1 firmware for this device. Add more zips and we're going to select ancient OS for Raphael, this one. Swipe to confirm flash. Now it'll take about two to four minutes for both the files to be flashed. So please be patient while that happens. All right, now as you can see over here, we have installed everything successfully, no errors whatsoever. So go to the main screen, go to wipe, select format data and type in yes. This is an essential step because if you see in the previous ROM, as I was on stock ROM, my internal storage was encrypted and we have to decrypt it for it to boot successfully. Otherwise, you will enter a boot loop. So once that is done, go ahead and click on reboot system. Now the first boot on a custom ROM on any of these devices, I'm not talking about the iPhone, on any of Poco X3 Pro, Mi 11X, Redmi K20 Pro doesn't take more than a minute. So please be patient for about a minute or two and then you should be good to go. Any moment now, we should be able to look at the boot animation. The beautiful boot animation that Ancient OS has. As you can see, the beautiful yellow golden boot animation of Ancient OS is in action. We can now remove the pen drive because the ROM has been flashed successfully. Let's wait for it to boot up. We will skip the setup part and then we'll see what it looks like. All right, so just like that, we have booted into Ancient OS 6.2 on the Raphael or Raphael N, also known as K20 Pro. Now, one thing that I like about custom ROMs is, as you can see, it's completely debloated. There is nothing that is included. I mean, I don't even see the camera applications. You'll probably have to install Gcam and stuff. By the way, the Gcam video is coming soon, so wait for that. You literally have 15 applications over here, so that is always a good thing. Now, if you go to settings over here, you will see that you have this new Ancient OS look in Android 12, which is always a good thing. If you go to the last tab over here, you will see that it does come with the Soviet star kernel. It does come with the January security patch and Android version, of course, is Android version 12. So that always is a good thing. The build type is steel and the SE Linux status is enforcing. So your security should not be a concern as well. That is a good thing. Now, as far as the smoothness of this ROM is concerned, I do see that this ROM is really, really smooth. Even in Google feed, it is working like butter. So, you know, as far as a 60 Hertz ROM is concerned or a 60 Hertz device is concerned on custom ROM, this is doing a really, really great job. As you can see, the app icon animations are also good. 
but they're not perfect perfect type of app icon animations would you know be very very fluent even on a device like the redmi k20 pro and trust me i've experienced it with uh, different roms i would not like to name them now but yeah so i'm not saying this is bad this is the first boot you need to give time for the rom to settle in and give you the performance that it is promising and ancient os as always has been a really really good rom at that if you go to system you do have your various options over here now if we talk about the fingerprint scanner in this particular rom as you can see it works absolutely fine there is no problem whatsoever when we talk about the fingerprint scanner and we were talking about the customization menu now if we move on to the battery section you don't really see the thermal profiles option over here in display you do have certain options available like pocket detection accidental wake up you do have always on display so you can keep it always on that is a good thing custom display settings gives you high brightness mode dc dimming these are good things that are available for this particular device now if we talk about the customization menu I have been saying this always, Ancient OS takes the pie when it comes to customization. It does have a ton of customization, it looks really really nice and it allows you to customize almost all the aspects of your ROM. Just see the amount of customization that we have over here. I will probably next week do a review on the latest Ancient OS for this particular device, wherein we will go ahead and cover all these features and all these options. Now apart from this, you have a dedicated UI customization menu for Ancient OS, which does separate this particular ROM from the others. Now, if you go to the main screen, you look at the multitasking menu. It works smooth as butter. You have the screenshot option over here. If you press and hold over here, you do have home settings in which you have launcher 12, which does a really, really good job. So all in all, Ancient OS as a whole is a very, very good operating system. You can use it as a daily driver. You should not have any problems. And this was a quick step-by-step -step install and preview. We will make a review soon and there will be a speed test coming between this device and the Poco X3 Pro on the same ROM. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this particular video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.